Welcome to People Are Strange. Today, we got your boy Luna and the boy Afro. That's what I know him as. <laughs> but you probably know him as Darango. <laughs> Shanghai, no. Yeah, what's up, niggas? How y'all feeling? Hey, we live, man. Blessed. <laughs> we live. Yeah, bless. Happy to be here. Oh, well, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. What were y'all niggas doing before this interview? Yeah. Hey, man, we were at a session with D. With D. Uh, and Gobi Beast. So we were at the Rap Life Crib, you know, just chopping it up. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what we were doing beforehand. And before that, I was dosing mixing. <laughs> <laughs> I was dosing. So that was the first thing we did when we woke up. Session. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So did you make some heat in that session? Hey, man, you know, it's studio, bro. It's studio, man. We just keep creating, keep creating, and then till the magic moment pulls up, you feel me? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Tell me about the shit you have out right now, dog. Mm, what you want to hear about the EP or the mixtape? Man, man, what you want? Or the music man. video that's coming out real soon? Hey, what you hey, want? Hey. I don't know when it's gonna drop, but it's probably gonna be out. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you man. feel me? Yeah. There's a lot of stuff that I'm actually working on, and I'm working on a lot of visuals this year. Yeah, you know, I'm trying to get people to actually see the product yeah. instead of just hearing it and trying to imagine what it sounds like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or what it looks like, rather. You feel me? Because yeah. sometimes you listen to a song and you'll be like, damn. I, I hear this guy, vision, but I want to yeah. see, yeah, like, see it. Yeah. What, is, what sneaker does he wear? You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, what's his swag? What, yeah. Who is he around? Like, where is he from? That's why I want to give people a lot more visuals. Yeah. You feel me? Mostly more from. Real as well. Bro. Yeah, yeah. You mostly from. from directly, yeah. You know, from yeah. the mixtape and just telling the whole story of mine visually. So, are you, like, planning to drop every song you drop with a video or. Nah, not every song. Not every song. Nah. Just, <laughs> it's a bit much. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit much. But a lot. A lot of visuals. Yeah, yeah. A lot of visuals. A lot of visuals. Yeah. Why, why don't you feel like, why do you feel like it's a bit much to drop every video with the song? Like every song with a video I meant. It's just, it wasn't in my blueprint. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know. So like, it was just like, I don't know, every rapper has this idea. Like when you start rapping, you have this idea of how you want to blow up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like you're dreaming a lot about these moments. Yeah. So now when you actually come to the moment, now you have to like go back to that dream and think about what happened after. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So in a nutshell, I'm trying to say, I ain't trying to get lost in the South and I'm not lost in the South. Still sticking to the game plan. Yeah. You know, it's very easy to get to, to, to a point where, you know, you start feeling a lot of pressure from fans and a lot of pressure from the industry. Where, like, you start feeling like, yo, 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 now I just gotta, man, let me just, you know what I'm saying? And then yeah. you start fighting with yourself. Yeah. That was something that Future actually mentioned in one, one of the interviews that I watched. He was like, um, he wish he didn't drop uh, two mixtapes back to back so quick. Yeah. At some point. Because some songs had only started charting, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And Word. then now he had dropped a new mixtape. So now people are onto the new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cause because he's got a new tape out, that is automatically old. Mm. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now he was like, man, you know, in some cases you really got to fight the urge to just drop. Cause we, 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 we artists, man, we really just want to let people hear our stuff, bro. Yeah. If I could, I'd upload my whole PC. I'm but, lying. Don't but, you, you think, know, <laughs> A few folders, a few folders, you know what I'm saying? Don't you think like, niggas think that um, you get more clout if you drop consistently yeah like hectic like yeah. every time you drop it. yeah i mean it depends on you and your fan base yeah you know like how how quick do people consume your music yeah. you know what i'm saying like if you're listening to uh my song for how long are you going to keep listening to it before you remove it from your shower playlist or yeah. whatever yeah. playlist you got it on you know what i'm saying so you gotta understand your market so if i know that yo my song only lasts three months then I know that every three months I got to give people something new, yeah, you know, because yeah. some people can drop every week, but then still not generate yeah, clout, as much clout you know, yeah. people just find that person annoying. Like, it's yeah. you, bro. you back oh, with the sound yeah. Yeah. every yeah. week, yeah. just link off the link. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But so, I feel like that's how people feel on social media. Like when niggas drop links, they'll never find out if it's hot because they just think, ish. It's another link. It's another SoundCloud nigga. Yeah. Because of like the previous links they clicked into weren't that great or whatever. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah. hard discovering new music right now. So mm-hmm. how are you going to go around that? 
that also ties into the whole thing of dropping visuals. Yeah. Because mm. now you're not just seeing a link. Now you're, you're seeing, oh, you're, seeing it you're hearing the music with the product. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's one way through. Another way through is just, you know, giving people the lifestyle, man. Oh, right yeah. now, people really like watching people's stories. Yeah. You feel me? So like people want to see what you're up to, yeah. you know, because bruh, TV keeps repeating stuff. So yeah. what do you do every morning? You check somebody's stories. WhatsApp. I don't think stories anyone thing. watches TV. Anymore, nah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bruh? Like, yeah, man, yeah. you feel me? Just watching stories. There. So just, you know, if... Just giving people your lifestyle and letting them see like yeah. the process behind everything. Yeah, man. That will set you apart from like a lot of people. Yeah. So I think that's that's my thing, man. I oh, just yeah. I live the life that I preach, you know. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on. On this topic about like people watching stories and shit. Yeah. I was watching this movie called The Circle and like everyone in the world had like this camera following them around and shit yeah and there was this channel with everyone in the world like whatever they're doing at the moment and shit and you can see everything yeah it was this whole this like there was this activist talking about they don't want to be surveilled and shit yeah so yeah <laughs> when did you watch that uh, i think like your lot late last year probably like november or something yeah. I just yeah. saw it on like what's this box office? Oh my like, gosh! Oh, need to you plug see? me with that, bro. Yeah, yeah. For real. it's called the Circle. Okay, the Circle. Yeah, bro. check that out. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's Yo. your guys' perspective on the underground music right now in South Africa? Like, man, music on the underground right now, yeah, man. The underground is the underground, you know. Yeah. Because previously, bro, the thing of you know what the thing about the underground is yeah. like nobody knows you so you could be grinding for nine years yeah. Yeah. but when you pop people will be like man you just blew up overnight yeah but it's because you, it's underground like literally yeah. you know what i'm saying like nobody knows you yeah. but like there's a lot of people that are you know definitely trying to break through mm. some are trying to keep the underground thing and trying to push that like i've seen um a lot of uh, people dropping videos on twitter where they just going at it like they're not trying to be commercial yeah. they're just doing straight up underground stuff and they're just dropping verses so like it's looking dope in SA yeah. it's pretty lit because hey man people are like mm. starting to compete with the big YouTube stars and yeah. the states yeah. and whatnot yeah. you know so that just means that we're getting better and better at the music if the underground is getting better hey man you know what I'm saying yeah. those that do break commercial are gonna do better too yeah. People like generally feel like underground music is better than mainstream music. Yeah. So uh, what do you think changes when like an underground artist who was really hot mm. and no one knew him and now suddenly that everyone knows him, his music isn't that great? Mm. Mm. I think, hey man, you're in a different headspace when you pop off, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like now you're no longer in your your room, in your commune. Yeah. Chowing noodles and old Ross yeah. <laughs> with just the mic and the interface, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's completely different. It's bro, yeah. now bro, now you're in a different you're in different hotels every night, different girls, you drinking booze that you don't even pay for. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes up to you if you wanna blow the check on yeah. booze, but you know what I'm saying? Like you're in a different headspace. Yeah. yeah. So with some artists, they 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 get swallowed with they get swallowed by that headspace, you know. Yeah. They get lost in the sauce. Uh, <laughs> don't get lost in the sauce. Yeah, man. don't get lost in the sauce, man. Yeah. You know. But at the same time, yeah, they, they they have different struggles, bro. Also, True. like like when you break out from underground and then you get to mainstream, like your problems are very different. Yeah, like yeah. the stuff you're gonna rap about is also gonna change. Yeah, like yeah. it's just natural for everybody. Yeah, even if it's not about getting lost in the sauce only. Like you know, like you have to, and and and, and I I I personally enjoy that type of rap. Where it's mm. like aspirational stuff. Yeah. Talking about the mansions to the whips. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm. So, hey man, there's, 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 there's definitely two sides to it. Because it's like you're, you're speaking it into existence. Yes. And then when it happens, your subject matter also. Now you got to celebrate. Yeah. yeah. Come yeah. on, bro. Yeah, but yeah. it's not really like that with those people who are mm -hmm. flossing from the beginning, even okay. if they didn't have. Yeah. Like, they faked yeah. it till they made it. Yeah. So nothing really changed with Fake. what they spoke about. Mm. Mm. Like, with like, with like what I'm saying, niggas, is that um, niggas were listening, were listening to the music because like they related to the shit you said, mm -hmm. like oh shit, I've been through the situation. And next thing now, you're talking about other shit, 
and that's what makes you down for because you're losing your yeah your core of, course, yeah. of course of course yeah. of course of course and then, but in some people like for example Casper it looks like the core fans were so strong at the start that even now it's starting to rap over Bentley's they're still there yeah. Yeah. yeah you know what I mean yeah. yeah like they end up like and that's tough like to build that that sort of level of loyalty yeah especially true. especially in these times yeah. where like bro if you don't like a song you can literally just swipe left true. and it's the next fast, fast, yeah fast. bro people yeah. keep going back yeah. and that's dope Oh, well. That's dope. What's your take on um, mainstream people collaborating with underground artists? Because, like, there's many people who say that, yo, these guys are not from my cloud and shit, you know, using me yeah. as a commodity. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's your take? Do you think they're helping niggas or do you think they're, like, using niggas for contingency? For yeah. In terms of, like, nah, I feel like, hey, man, give and take, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's at the end of the day, homies gotta eat. Yeah. You know, he's not going to just... Some some homies are going to put you on because yeah. they just, you know, they want to see you win. Yeah. Yeah. And then some homies is like, bro, I yeah. just need to check. So if you yeah. can pay me for this feature, yeah. we could, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's like some of the situations that are common in the industry where, yeah. you know, yeah. people pay for features. Yeah. And then some features, they just happen like, yo. But it's like at a disadvantage for the, for the SoundCloud rapper because like, let's say a big name comes to you like, yo, my boy, you're really hot. Mm-hmm. Let's work on something together. Yeah, You can't say, nah, give me 20K for the verse, dog. You can't say that. Yeah. He gets yeah. you for free. And at that time, you still have that natural thing mm. about your music. Mm-hmm. People still relate to you. Yeah, People are still like, hell yeah, this is my nigga. And then now you can't have him paying for that. And that yeah. fucks up with the small guy you know I mean sometimes it's not really about the check when yeah. you when you're the small guy yeah. like when you're the small guy you have a lot to win yeah you besides do, you the do. check you know so sometimes like bro if Drake calls you up right now <coughs> and he's like bro Zay, give me a hook yeah. for free yeah dude like he didn't pay you what you were charging yeah. But the opportunities that you got from that yeah. remunerated yeah. you, yeah. you're making true, more true, and more true. profit. You know what true. I'm saying? Had you not done the Drake feature, maybe you wouldn't have been called up for Coachella. Yeah. Coachella yeah. paid you what twenty k dollars, for example. Yeah, that's more than what you would have charged for the feature in the first place. Yeah, well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there's better opportunities. Yeah, you sometimes you gotta look at it, you know, from a wider perspective. Uh, like a lot of the times, Joe, we we're too focused on things that happen now bro like yo yeah. yo dude I'm gonna just sell you this beef with two clipper bro yeah, yeah niggas aren't thinking bro, like nah, that bro. Nah, bro. you know what I'm saying bro like you gotta think long term yeah. with it yeah niggas sign contracts that in the end will have them fucked over mm-hmm. feel yeah. like mm-hmm. niggas on their come ups need to get themselves some lawyers read the contract with yeah. you yeah and do the education man. yeah man learn <laughs> that shit don't on, just yeah. hop on with your talents <laughs> Give it out for free, man. On the Coachella note, like I hear rappers in SA saying that there's not enough events, and usually niggas are fucking them over during concerts, and there's like only five trustworthy concerts mm. for rappers to like perform. So what's your yeah. take on that too? Hey man, it's politics. Yeah, I guess it's yeah. politics, bro. You know, I don't, I don't. Hey man, I I haven't been in those chats yet. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to like, dude, we're still fighting with club promoters, like yeah. trying to, you know, do something, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but not fighting as in like, <laughs> like fighting as in like, yo, bro, like yeah. I'm dope. Like, yeah. pump my sh- you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, hey man, I feel like the people will always complain though. There will always never be enough of certain resources. Yeah. Uh, you know, but we're going to get to a point where rappers start doing their own shows. I mean, that's where it went worldwide. Yeah. People, like, when was the last time you saw J. Cole booked at a club? Like, it's always J. Cole tours and they have yeah. tour dates. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So maybe, like, this is, like, a positive thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People are supposed to complain so that they can be changed. Wow. You feel me? Soon we're going to start seeing rappers touring from their albums. Yeah. Right? Instead of, like, asking yeah. niggas to get booked. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, man. you're just going to do a tour. Sure. And just go around the country, go around Africa. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that way there's going to be more events. And nigga we were talking to, like, on the earlier interviews was like, 
it's a problem in SA because they say you should earn your recognition first before yeah. you pop off and that doesn't make sense to him because people don't listen to the music first that and that way he'd earn his recognition through his music they want yeah. you to be like in a circle with right. like some like some big names so for them to be like oh shit who's this guy and then start doing that what's your take on that man bro it's tough bro but at the same time you know if you're looking at it from their end like imagine you're that guy that's just getting emails from rappers that all want you to hear their stuff yeah and everybody's sending links yeah you're gonna you know first 10 songs <clears throat> sorry man it's the flu guys <laughs> you got you boy <laughs> You know, the first 10 songs you're going to be listening there. But what if the first 10 songs are pop? You're not going to listen to By the time you get to the top one, you're like, bruh. Hey, it's enough. Mm, you know what I'm saying? And you number 14 yeah. and your shit is fire because yeah. they're not going to hear it. Yeah. So you got to find a different way of standing out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? They're always going to look for like different ways. Yeah. You know? And that's where cosigns also come in. Exactly. Because yeah. I'm saying now, if they see you with the DJ Switch or DJ Speedster, yeah. like, you know, or they're posting about you, yeah. yo, they, if, they, if they see the name, they're more likely to take that name seriously. Yeah. yeah. It's like a referral. It's yeah. basically like a yeah. referral. Yeah. yeah. You uh, need that. Yeah. In, in life, like, nothing's more important than that. Like, it's tough. Straight. That that's how the game is, but you got to play it. Yeah. That's but how life in is. In America, niggas, like, get found because, like, this nigga probably like in high school or something mm-hmm. and he did a show in a hall in his high school and it was wild and yeah. he's popping off off of that yeah like he starts writing soundcloud they love him genuinely yeah. without all like without him getting a co-sign from yeah yeah anyone big yeah don't you like isn't that a problem <laughs> to you how it is in SA? Yeah, but maybe maybe also dudes aren't being creative enough also. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Also. Those kids also, you know, they're finding ways, bro. Maybe we're not, you know, we also need to be creative. Yeah. Step your game up. Yeah, you gotta step your game yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta step your game up. I read that same formula that work, they will probably work here. Just yeah. that, I don't know if it, you know, being as creative. Yeah, but also like that side, they have like gang Wi-Fi. <laughs> also, you know what I'm saying? That's a big thing. That's a very big thing too. Exactly. Yeah. Everything's yeah. really on the internet now. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit tough. It's a bit mm, more tough. Yeah. That's yeah. It's, it's a bit fair. tough for the boys. <laughs> dog. Step your game right. up, South Africa. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make first of all, data must fall. Yeah. 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 Data must fall. Data must fall. Talk. Has to yeah. kill me. Yeah. That's the first thing. Yo, that's hectic. It's killing our pockets, guys. It's cause, my boy. Cause, my boy. My boy. Uh, you can't even come up because we got to buy data, man. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Tell me about the video of Florentino Mariachi, bro. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Shout out Kuda Jemba. Oh, yeah. You know, it's Kuda on the lens. Yeah. Uh, he shot the video. Uh, but, man, shout out to the team, Punchline. Shout out Tarangua, yeah. aka Zim Dala. I win, <laughs> you know I'm saying? Get the rap names out. Come on, dude. <laughs> come on, dude. You know what I'm saying? We live in the building. That video was actually, bro, it wasn't what I expected, but it was better, you know? Yeah. But like, we went through a couple of hardships. You know, like when you get there and it's like, damn. Because we shot during the day. Yeah. So, <clears throat> like, the sun has like a very big role in that you know because yeah. we're using the sun for lighting so you get there and it's like yo guys is it gonna rain what thought, thought, thought. but nah we dala you feel me but all i'm gonna say is it was a vibe it's still a vibe it's still gonna be a vibe when it drop or whenever you see it don't sleep on it Always. you feel me it's oh, a movement yeah. and i wanted to like portray rustenberg in a different perspective so you showed it in rusty yeah, yeah. that's why i shot it because oh, yeah. people, some people don't even know Rustenburg. Yeah. Some people just don't know it at all, you know. And yeah. some just have only been to Sun City. So then they're like, Rustenburg, like. Yeah. Because around Sun City, there's a lot of grass. Yeah. So they think we're in the Bundus. Like, say, <laughs> yeah. So they're like, bro, you from Rustenburg. <laughs> hey, came up from the Bundus. Bro, we're like, like, damn, cuz. Niggas don't even know we have McDonald's day, bro. Yeah. Shit, man. There's two. There's two. And we got right? two. <laughs> for, a while, for a while, dude. We got two. And Muff Time, there was no, there was no McD's for a while. <laughs> yeah, but the, you see, you see, yeah. you see. But y'all know Muff Town, though. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people didn't know Rustenburg. So yeah. I just felt like I had to portray that culture in the video. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
You feel me? And a lot of the people that were in the video are from Rustenburg too. Are there any niggas you know from Rusty killing the game right now? Right now? Yeah. Yeah, there's 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 a couple. Couple rappers. Um some DJs, some beat makers, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout out D, shout out Gobi, shout out Lorraine Authentic, shout out K Zaga, uh, shout out Jay the producer. Hey man, if I leave out any names, I'm sorry. <laughs> he still loves you, man. Yeah, man, I'm still celebrating 420. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> but yeah, there's, there's a couple of people doing yeah. the most in Rustenburg. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Well. So, what? do you have a name for your upcoming project? Oh. Hey, man. I ain't gonna spill no juice right now. <laughs> I ain't gonna we spill no beans. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All I'm gonna say is Florentino Mariachi is out everywhere. Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, Tidal, Google Get Play, Get Slicker that. on Life, everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you download that Make and sure. stay tuned to the boy. Oh, well, Yeah, well. you feel me? Do you have any shows in the coming few weeks? Hey, man. Not right now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you just cooking up right now. Yeah, man, we cooking up, bro. We cooking up, bro, because we've just been preparing for the job. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? We've just been spending a lot of, of our energy on the job just to try and... Because, I mean, obviously, you know, we're trying to get this thing to happen right. And, you know, there's a certain time where you got to do shows and a certain time where you got to do studio. Mm-hmm. And a certain time where you got to be out pushing the, the yeah. art. I must you know? be going right. I seen you niggas on the MTV base interviews and shit. Come on, dude. Yeah. Come on, come on. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, man. Put in that work, guys. Shout Just out, gotta bro. grind. Yeah. Just grind. All That's the it. time. That's how we roll. Hard Anything work. you got for the kids at home? Mm, I'm gonna say. Just stay in your lane, man. <laughs> stay in your lane. Like, nobody can be you better than you. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So don't try it and be better than somebody else. Be better than who you were yesterday. Oh, well, yeah. man. You, you me? the wrong one, the so, author. Oh, <laughs> man, what am I saying? A member of the Beard so, Gang. <laughs> <laughs> that's key, bro. You got to get that right. Yeah, yeah, you got to get a nickname that's got to do with the beard, bro. Got that's it, what we need to do. We got to find someone there. <laughs> hey, man, just like he said, man, stay in your lane. One time. That means if you whack, stay in the whack lane. <laughs> you know what I mean? Don't try to come with a big voice. Big Yo, yeah, Tito Mariachi is out now. Is it wow. out now? Grab it. Wow. This was People Are Strange. Like the page. Subscribe to the